Deliver us serenity. Ooh. Deliver us peace. Deliver us love. You know we need it. Yeah. That's Ooh. why we need you now. Oh, why? Pray for the world. Pray for humanity. Wagwa magwan people dems. Uh, so this is uh, one from the list. You know the infamous list that I've been working on since I started this channel. <laughs> that you guys keep me very busy with. Um, so this is for um, one of my uh, subscribers. This is Candice. Um, who actually was on my latest live. So hello. <laughs> um, and you had asked then. And actually it did slip my mind. So I'm glad that you reminded me. Um, to react to a gentleman called Stan Walker. Um, and the song is called Ultra light beam so i don't know anything about this guy i've never heard that name before um but when i typed in his name i was like oh you know when you just see certain people obviously you should never judge you never know what someone's gonna sound like but when you see certain people you're like oh you look musically interesting <laughs> so that's 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 the initial vibe i had from his uh from his thumbnail so this is a live performance of ultra light beam so yeah let's see what it's saying We on an ocean lab beam, we on an ocean lab beam This is a God dream, this is a God dream This is everything This is everything Deliver us serenity Deliver us peace Deliver us love You know we need it yeah. That's Ooh. why we need you now Oh why Pray for the world Pray for humanity This is a God dream Yeah This is a God dream We on an ocean lab beam This is a God dream This is a God dream This is everything I'm just trying to keep my faith But I'm looking for more Okay, okay Why, why did you do me wrong? You persecute the weak Because it made you feel so strong Don't have much faith to fight So I look up to the light To make these wrongs so right Head up high Honor to the light Cause I know that you make everything right And I know that you take good care of your child
beam We own an ocean I beam This is a God dream This is a God dream things I'm thinking about that there are so many things I am thinking about that dude like so first off Candice Candice apologies <laughs> apologies whenever I come across anybody that's this sick and it's taken me this long to find out about them I'm sorry <laughs> I'm very 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 sorry Listen, when, when you when you want to hear somebody yeah, that's got a distinctive voice, because this is the thing, people can riff, people can run, people can belt, people can do falsettos, people can do rock, people can, but you, you, you want something that's going to stand out so you, so you know the voice. The minute he opened his mouth, I'm like, oh, he he hello Stan. <laughs> hello Stan. Like, the minute he opened his mouth, I'm like, okay unique sounding already or already sounding then he's got like okay like everything about this type of video by the way is me like that that is a bit of me in terms of the things that i enjoy when it comes to like you know if i had the choice of something to put on or to go to or whatever it's that like that level of like soul and um and that richness and that variety of vocal technique and stuff like all of that and everything about the open studio like and you've got the um the gospel-esque singers in the back like um i'm presuming that they were the levites or unless the levites are the band with them i don't i don't know who they are but um everybody that was in that was sick the beat was coming through the beat was coming through even before like the lyrics even really started in the songs that like, I was already kind of like, oh, what's, what's this, what's this beat? And the beat was coming in nice, like, just, you know, I don't let me, I mean, I don't, this is the first time I've heard the song and it's already in my head. Like, don't even, don't even, that was so awesome. So, so you've got the, the, the beat, the setup, um, his already sick tone. Like, and then you've got all these different things that he's doing with his voice. So him as an artist, him as a, as a, and I was saying this just the other day actually. I was like, uh, like one of the reasons that, that I, I was kind of in the search for someone like Avery Wilson was because actually, like when it comes to male vocalists on my channel, like obviously everyone knows how much I love Gabrielle um, and how much love I've got for Dimash as well, um, and obviously Chakra Khan too. So I'm always trying to find because you know there's a lot of female divas and stuff that are on my channel um so i'm always looking to find other males that can sing and and throw down and boy like he can sing man he can sing he can sing like from like his foot do you know what i mean like from his foot he's singing from like that was sick that was so so sick so already i'm enamored by what's coming out of the guy's mouth do you know what i mean then you deep the lyrics so someone actually asked me this the other day, they're like, oh, do you listen to, in fact, I was talking to someone about this just today, um, because I was, um, one of my reactions to Blackpink, uh, they were saying, oh, like, 
this song is awful. Like, I don't understand why anybody, like, the lyrics are awful. Like, why they're even so big. And the thing is, like, this is this is the beauty of music, right? Because there's, what, what I'm saying was, like, actually, you've got, you've got different music for different scenarios. You've got different music for different emotions. Um, so actually, it may not be that every song you want to hear is, like, a Shakespearean sonnet, do you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's very many tunes. If I think about some of the Jamaican dancehall tunes that I've listened to growing up, yeah, there's nothing Shakespearean about none of it, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But it is about having a good time, do you know what I mean? Having a good time and shucking out and, you know, skanking out and all that kind of stuff. So there is, there is, there is an avenue and a scenario for, I think, every type of music. Um, that said, though, as much as that is great to have the ton up, ton up, when you can hear a song like this that is literally dripping in positive like there are so many things that stand out in my head bearing in mind it's the first time listen like needing an ultra light beam needing to have that faith needing to be more positive need to be better humans need to needed to be um the the, the bar that i remember hearing near the end there was that all lives all lives will matter when black lives matter do you know what I mean? Like, it, so it, not only is he kind of talking about just life in general and everybody being like one and being whole, but like everybody mattering, mattering that everyone does matter. Because of course, every every like every person matters. Like, um, but we've seen so many things in life, like where it shows that actually certain people are kind of, you know, like, and I'm I'm not just talking from a, from a black perspective. Like, I'm talking like from across the board. There are so many different groups. We're so, we're so grouped now in the world. It's crazy. Um, so to hear a song that is like literally dripping in positivity as well as being like musically and acoustically like not just endearing but like masterclass. Like there was so much of that that was masterclass from him, from his lead vocals um, to the little round they were doing at the end there where the, the, the three backing singers were like doing their own little runs and, and each individual one had their own little turn twice sick sick the beat from the band like I, I i couldn't enjoy something more than what i have just have what i have just done just now with that like i couldn't have enjoyed that anymore there's nothing more that he could have brought to that table that would have added anything further aside from maybe a cameo from beyonce <laughs> you know what I mean? um but he didn't even need that to, well there's always time for beyonce <laughs> It's always time for Beyonce. Um, but genuinely, like, that was sick. That was sick. I can't wait to listen to that song again. And even as I was listening to it, I was like, there are going to be so many people I want to send this song to, like, already. Like, just, like, in terms of the, 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 the R&B element, the kind of gospel-ish elements, like, um, as you'll know, like, I, you know, I don't, I, I'm not, I, well, I was christened as a baby, but I'm not, I, I'm not, like, in the church or anything like that. So I don't practice any religion. But I'm, but I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, you know, I've got faith and stuff and I'm a very um, you know spiritual person in that kind of way and um, so to hear songs that like kind of tap into that and on any level um, just, and again like you have to be like a pretty crappy human to not like be able to be like do you know what yeah wouldn't it be great for us all to have this wouldn't it be better for all of us to have more empathy I heard him say that in there as well more em like and I say this all the time to my friends like if we had just a little bit more empathy for other people and try to put ourselves in other people's situations just a little bit more often than what we do, like, we probably wouldn't be in the situation that we're in right now. Do you know what I mean? Because we just we just think a bit more about how things can affect people. So it's just it's just really awesome to have that combination of tune, uh, like vocal, like I say, mastery and skill. You're set up with your backing uh, singers, you're set up with your um, percussionists and your musicians, and then to also have a, like a beautiful message on the back of that. Um, you know, and it didn't feel preachy either, that's the other thing, it didn't feel preachy, it felt like a tune. Do you know what I mean? It felt like a tune, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sold. Yeah, I am absolutely 100% sold, so Candice, thank you very much for being so persistent. I really, really appreciate that. Um, and I'm now just looking forward to what the next Stan Walker tune is going to be. Um, amazing. Amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd love to know what everyone else thought of this song and like what... I guess, what did you take from it? Like, and did it evoke the same kind of things that like I've spoken about? Is there anything that I've missed? Uh, any kind of other kind of messages that he's littered in there that maybe I've, I've kind of 
got too excited about it and, 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 and bypassed. Um, and like I said, what do you think my next Stan Walker song should be? Or is, is there another song that's like a big one that maybe, again, live, I'm, I'm now I've now seen him live once, I want to, and actually it's sick because his, his name is coming up with people like Yeba. Like, I mean, she's another one that I need to get on this channel actually because there's only really one song of hers. Um, my mind, um, which I haven't watched in a really long time actually, so I might start with that to kind of re reignite the uh, the the yebba flames. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching that with me. I really, as you can probably tell, really enjoyed that. Um, if you did enjoy this, then do please drop me a like and subscribe. That would be really really lovely of you. I do have a Patreon as well, so if you want to head over there, it's right here. <laughs> um, and show any kind of love, any kind of support whatsoever, that would be so awesome. Just helps me to uh, continue doing what I'm doing and obviously get more out to you because there's, there's a lot of requests, guys. <laughs> there's a lot of requests. Um, so yeah, I would really appreciate that. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Oh. <laughs>